All right, following yesterday, declined to test support around the 50 moving average gold trades inside day between the 20 and 50 moving average. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by Exynos, the world's largest retail broker, offering ultra-fast execution with no overnight fees. Find a link in the description below. This is Bruce for FX Empire, taking a look at the daily chart for gold. And you can see how today's high tested resistance at the purple 20 moving average and support at the, around the 50 orange moving average. That means that this is a... Uh, uh, behavior of a continuation of the downtrend, pull back, move up, drop through support, pull back and test it as resistance. So far it is resistance. However, if we have a breakout above 2392 and it stays there, gold could hold this uh, 50 level and rally from there. However, if we look at the previous retracements, you can see they took place over a much longer period of time within this larger consolidation phase. So I'd anticipate a little bit more of a correction before gold is complete and it may go lower. So if we break below this week's low of 2,353, it looks like 2,332 is the next target and then below there starting around 2,305. And there's a bunch of things there, a few things there that indicate that that should be significant support at the bottom of this consolidation range. At the same time, this range is relatively bearish because it's rising, similar to a rising, rising wedge. It's not a classic pattern, but if it does break below, gold breaks below the swing low here at 2,294, then that is a breakdown of this rising uh, wedge. Okay, that is it for gold traders. Have a great weekend.